It's Lucky. Welcome to 3HR. Louis couldn't be here with us today. And um, so it's just me. So you got a last minute surprise 3HR. We will put Left Behind, um, the one that was meant to be happening this week. We'll drag that over to next week. And instead of hearing about a very good game, you get to hear about a different very good game called Slime Roger, uh, <laughs> which I've been playing this week. And it's been kind of fun. And, yeah, so I'm going to tell you all about just what I've been doing for, like, the last three days, pretty much, with my life. It's a little game where, made by some company who I don't remember. I think it's their only game. Uh, I looked them up, but just whatever. And you're dropped in this world. You've got a little ranch. And it's kind of one of those sort of farmy, Harvest Mooney, Stardew Valley games in a way. But it's a first-person 3D game, and you're in this big world, and you've got to walk around and find slimes, which are just everywhere. Um, but some of them are a lot harder to find than others, and you collect them, and you feed them. They different different slimes, like different types of food, and you'll shoot like a... Because you've got a sort of a vacuum gun uh, that you can suck things into it, store it, and then shoot things back out. So you'll find some slimes, suck them up into your vacuum pack shoot them back out into a cage and then you'll go and suck up some like carrots feed the ones that like vegetables carrots and then they poo out these little things and then you take those things and you can either cash them in for cash to upgrade everything or to feed to other slimes of different types and then when one slime eats the poo of another slime it turns into a bigger slime that you can use to make more money because although they're kind of harder to look after because they're bigger and just a bit of because you can't suck the big ones up into your thing so they're all harder to transport um if you feed them one thing they'll poo out two poos from each slime that the one mega slime's made up of uh, and that's the gist of the game i think it pretty much covers it it's got quite a lot of good exploring things where you explore it's quite a Bigish. Well, it's not that big, but it feels kind of big in the way that it can be quite hard to get places. You can upgrade your vac pack to get like little jet packs and have more energy and health, and which makes it easier to find shit. But uh, it's about the gist of explaining explaining the game. But the beauty of the game hasn't been covered, and the beauty of the game is it's that it's just one of those games where you can just switch off enjoy get really into it you know i've been listening to some audiobooks while uh slamming through and it's just a super good chill game is it worth it do i recommend it yeah i mean if you got some time i think it when i first got into this game i was to i was quite overwhelmed in the fact that i just sucked up like 20 slimes however many i could the pink ones the super common ones which are everywhere shot them into my cage and just sort of didn't really bother with cages and just had them littered around my ranch and just would just feed them there. Uh, and at the start I was like, this is, this is good. This is a good system. Why cage them? Um, which was fun. And it's not until like you sort of understand that when you start getting more slimes, that doesn't become possible because if you feed a slime a poop from another type, it changes into a bigger guy but if you feed it a third poo from a different type it like corrupts the slime it becomes tar and they just ugh, destroy everything just now i lost a uh, whole big cage of my um rock slash tabby slimes which were great a big money maker for me i had about 20 in a cage and uh <laughs> i accidentally instead of feeding it a carrot or whatever it was i shot in a third one and Tars came out and I oh, lost all of them. But, yeah, it's kind of a fun moment. Uh, also, 
I think I should address the fact that on last week's podcast, I was eating, <laughs> and it was very obvious. I didn't didn't think it was, but fuck, it really was. Because I, I got a plate of food before it started, and Lou was like, don't eat that on podcast. And I was like, mm, it's okay, don't worry, man, I won't. And then <laughs> when he was talking, I would, as silently as I could, just feed myself whatever it was, I don't even remember. Um, and it's so obvious you could hear it from a mile away so uh, I apologise for that but um, yeah in terms of feeding stuff in the game uh, it's super easy which is good some like meat some like fruit some like veg some like everything and um, you upgrade your little coops and it's yeah it's pretty chill I mean, you feel kind of bad, though, with these, uh, with a lot of these things, because it, there's no punishment in this game for mistreating your slimes, which I think there should be, or I think it should be, like, if you manage to keep them happy, uh, maybe they become a lot more fruitful in, like, the poo they produce, because I have just... And also what's bad is you unlock more spaces, so everything you build is on a plot, so you can build as many, uh, they're called like carols, but they're essentially sort of little cages um, that you can have like a two-way wall, one-way wall where you can walk in and out, but they can't get out. And uh, it, they're kind of cool, but then you can also build little farms and little ponds and everything you build on plots. And the problem with that is you only have so many in your main space and then you get the poos out, they're called plorts, I'm going to start calling them plorts. So you get the plorts out, and then you feed them to the machine that caches them in. Uh, but it's only close to four of my cages. And then so you unlock other spaces by paying money to unlock these uh, other spaces. And you go in, and the one to the right is just this dark, dingy cave. And that's where I keep all my um, slimes. Because I've got all these slimes that I don't really use and don't feed because the plorts that they make aren't worth that much money. So I have like these big cages filled with 20 slimes. They all look miserable because I don't feed them. Just in a dark, dingy cave. Uh, and I don't think that should be a thing. I think they should uh, make it so... Yeah, even if they died, I think that would be cool. Because then you'd actually care about these things and feel kind of bad. But, you know, they just have no sort of down effect but um I think that's one of my main problems with it other than that I'd like more fruit and veg I don't know why but I, that's the thing I think I think it's very exciting when you find something new in this game but I don't think it happens enough because there's four basic slimes from what I know at least four basic slimes um two basic veg no two veg Two meat, no, three meats, uh, two fruits. But maybe that's just because that's all I found. But uh, you find something new and you'll be so excited. And then um, that's it. And it doesn't really happen that often. I'd like it if there was more things to find in this game. Maybe that's me, but I don't know. It's a big world too. There's a lot to see. And there are like these big slimes that you can feed and feed and feed and feed till they pop. And they don't move, they're just set slimes. And uh, they drop either loots or keys to unlock new areas or teleport stations where you can jump around the map. And those are really good. Uh, it's a bit random. Another problem I have with this game is... So you get keys to unlock these new stages by overfeeding these big fat guys. And when you do that, you get the key and then you can just choose whichever door you want to open and some are super beneficial to you and some are just shit so the first one opened was literally just a gate between two places that I'd already unlocked to make my life a little bit easier um, but I've probably walked through it about three times and then the second one I used was for this whole new area with tons of new slimes and it made me loads of money and it just massively progresses and I think the scaling in this game I'd say it's quite good because at the start you really sort of struggle to earn money and you you know you have your pink slimes and your blue slimes and you're feeding them and then you're like oh I've got 500 gold I can upgrade my jetpack and you're like sick 
but now it's to a point where you know you get multiple uh and just for some reference i've got like 10 hours um so this is only from 10 hours worth of play but i mean it's called 3hr so i'd probably have a lot less normally um (laughs) yeah it's fun man it's a fun game and i was talking about scaling and now it gets to the point where i just have little farms i can suck up a whole thing of whole thing of like these cube berries shoot out the fruit at the things that eat fruit they'll drop like 40 between them if i have a full thing of fruit they'll drop out like 40 poos and then i can just cash in like a thousand on the spot and it's satisfying i just unlocked a little laboratory which sort of makes the game a lot deeper by allowing you to build cool gadgets all over the map uh, but they're super expensive and it they also take these plots to build so not only do you have to manage money but then you also have to use plots to build so they become a lot more valuable uh, and makes money less valuable in a way because you want to start saving the plots as well as having money to afford things so that's an interesting thing and it helps again with the scaling or you produce when you're producing more shit you actually need more shit to be able to keep progressing at like a good rate which is kind of cool. Um, anything else I need to mention about this game? I'll tell you what is cool, uh, and what I'm an absolute sucker for, is uh, cosmetic stuff. Oh, it's just good. So also in this game, you can join this club and upgrade your little ranch cosmetically. It's great. I really recommend just playing this game and putting your money into cosmetic upgrades. But at the same time, put your money into actual the actual gameplay because then you get money more quick and you can just spam money into these cosmetic upgrades. But make sure you touch on them because, you know, who doesn't love <laughs> cosmetic upgrades? Makes me want to play Animal Crossings. It's sort of got that Animal Crossing vibe. Um, I probably shouldn't eat this gum from my talk earlier. Um... It makes me think of Animal Crossings in a lot of way, and it's kind of got that feel of, not in the same level, but when Tom Nook's asking for money to build you a bigger house, and you're like, all I want is a bigger house, and it'll be thousands and thousands, and you just save up for it. And this in this game, you don't need nearly as much money to unlock all the different things, um, but it's still got that sort of nice feeling of saving up for this little upgrade that doesn't really matter, but it's fun. Um, that's about everything that I really need to talk about. Let me open it up, look around, so I'm in the game right now. Is there anything else I need to talk about? It looks nice. The game looks nice. It's a uh, sort of very pastel color, color palette and very sort of blobby and 3D and roundy. It's a nice world. Colors, yeah, colors the best thing about this game visually, I think. Uh, they go to these. The whole game is sort of built around these rocky mountains. That's kind of a cool landscape, and it's kind of cool that you get to explore them with your jetpack. But I think the jetpack's not as good as I'd like it to be. Um, the uh, it's really good for sort of floating forwards, but there's not enough up. And I'd really like it if it had more up, so you could climb around these mountains really easily. Which is what I want to do, even if there was nothing up there. Or, actually, you know, put stuff up there. It'd be really fun to go find, like, mountain slimes. I'd love that. That you can only have up in the mountain. That would be another good thing, actually. If they made it so certain slimes did need uh, more specific habitats. So, for example, if you could go and catch mountain slimes. Because you can sort of make your way up these mountains very gradually once you sort of let your energy uh, of your jetpack recover and you can slowly make your way up but it's not easy and it's not very satisfying and sometimes you just get to points where you just can't get up anymore I would love huge mountains which you can climb you get to the top, find mountain slimes uh, I wish you could build like mountain slime ranges at the top or you could go back to your ranch where you could build like a fake mountain or a tower and build them up there if they needed that, like, altitude requirements. If this game was just a little bit more technical, I would actually be all for that. I'm not really a big fan of that sort of thing normally, um, 
but this game feels so basic in the form of what you need to do to look after each each slime. It's pretty much the same thing. Some of them get leery with you and like explode and cause damage, which means you can't go near them, which is fun, which I like. Uh, but I'd like more of that because and like for the cages, you can just put them all in the same cage. It doesn't matter. I'd like a little bit more technicalities. Um, I think that's all I really need to say about this game. It's fun. Play it. Uh, multiplayer would be really fun in this game. That should be a thing. I've no idea what the uh, uh, soundtracks like or the sound. I think the sound effects are quite good. <laughs> Going back to the sound effects from last week, but it's um, yeah. I've I've been listening to the Harry Potter. I never re I read one to five as a kid, uh, and then sort of just gave up on them. And I'm finally getting back to uh, audio booking them. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been really nice. Just um, being able to listen to listen to an audio book because it takes very little concentration. This game, so you can just listen and play and. I love those sorts of games. I did it. I binged Isaac that way. I got like 700 and something hours of Isaac, which is pretty much 100% whilst doing other things as well. So throughout uni, just sitting on a couch with my flatmates watching Isaac. No, watching telly, playing Isaac or whatever. Anytime I'd watch anything, I was playing Isaac. Um... Because it just doesn't require like your full, full, full concentration, and it's very possible to do both at the same time. This game's the same, and I'm a big fan of these games because you know I like putting my time to games. But at the same time, if I want to watch something, uh, it's super easy to watch something and play this. I'm all about the multitask. Um, yeah, so you know I'm just gonna wrap it up there because my last solo one on Everwing, I really pushed that to be half an hour. This has been 16 minutes, um, and I don't think everyone needed to be half an hour. So I've, I'm, I have hope you enjoyed it. Go play it. Um, next week will be back to reg scheduling. Uh, Lou, Dog will be here, and we'll talk about... Oh, shit, I've just, uh, I've just unlocked Heart Module Mark III, um, which is something I have no idea how it works in this game. You just unlock things gradually. I'm going to stop playing as well. Um... You just get pop-ups saying, you can now get this upgrade, and I don't see the logic behind it. Uh, and I'm sure there probably is some, but it'd be nice if I could know or figure that out, what it actually is and how you unlock these new uh, things. Um, for the little... You know, I'm also going to talk a little bit about podcasts in general now, because why not uh, push over some time, and I think it'll be interesting. Um... We've done pretty good. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've done 12 of these, 12 weeks in a row, um, which is pretty good. And although we're not, like, the sickest, you go back to Subnautica, which was forever our most played one, at, like, just way more plays than every other one. Um, and it's now been taken over by Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, which... God bless, you know. Why not? Because what a great game. If you haven't listened to it, uh, I recommend you listen to our Tyler Tasmanian Tiger one to keep pushing that. It's the bee's knees. But we're getting a lot better as well, um, which is good. I think our Half-Life one was okay. Our last one, um, it's a shame that was so fresh, but I think because it wasn't that well prepared and maybe I didn't do the best choice in game with Half-Life because it's kind of tricky to talk about in a lot of ways. Yeah. But um, it's still good. Like, I think our our fresher ones have been decent enough. I, we still say I'm an a lot, but fuck it. But fuck it. Me, me, me. Um, good stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and maybe get some of these on YouTube soon as well. I think that could be kind of shrewd. Have a channel with the potties up. Uh, I don't think you can get in touch with us as well. Maybe you can. I don't know. Can you message people on SoundCloud? Anyway, <laughs> get in touch with us if, if you actually listen. Or I don't even know what you'd say, but do it. 
Why not? Anyway, this is a clean, clean 20-minute podcast about the one and only Slime Rancher made by, I'll tell you right now, Slime Rancher. Made by Monomi Park. Uh, God bless them. I think it's, yep, it's their only game. Uh, this game came out last year. Worth a play. Dude, if you got some time and you like this sort of thing, if you liked, you know, sort of rancher games and farming games, it's super lighthearted, super fun, super cute. It's a very cute to game. Give it a shot. Uh, this has been 3HR. Surprise solo edition with Lockie. Louie will be back next week. Uh, you can listen to this stuff on iTunes or SoundCloud, whichever one is more convenient. And so I think even Tumblr, which is another thing we've been doing because, hey, you know, keep it out there. Uh, I'm signing out. Keep it real. I'll see you all uh, next week with we'll be back we'll be on left behind which is a game i played and i want to talk about now but i'm not going to because i can't because i gotta wait so i'll talk to you about it then it's good it'll be a good episode guaranteed promise Mwah. love you all later bye i got three i got three i got three